work as the project manager for the International Family Study, which is a research collaboration that we have ongoing with Operation Smile, Children's Hospital Los Angeles, and the University of Southern California. Um, and this project is really aimed to discover the risk factors and why clefts are developing in certain families. We're a unique study in that we have a particular focus on fathers when we're collecting information and we have some of the largest collections of information regarding clefts uh, in the world to date. So the father is interesting because in a lot of scientific journals and scientific studies, father hasn't been included. Typically the mother is in charge of the health and taking the child to the doctor. So fathers are interesting to us because they really represent half of the child's genes. Ina siya Lorin, Bungi, Lorin, Bungi, o ano niya, may ako ano niya, mga amiga. Muli kayo na lang siya, sumbong sa ako. So we wanted to come and visit this family because when you're studying what the cause of um, cleft lip and palate is, what the genetic cause is, it's very helpful to look at a family because then you can compare um, the family members to each other. So and his brothers, how many, do any of them have cleft lip or palate? For Roland, he's only the, only boy. the okay. boy. This family is very special because they're such a big family and there's a lot of members that have cleftings. They're all in the same place, so that makes it a good place to come. A lot of what we try to say to the families, um, you know, unfortunately it's too late for their child, but your child is going to grow up, your child is going to have kids of their own one day, so hopefully we have better answers for you in terms of health behaviors that you can try to avoid and certain things that will elevate your risk for cleft lip and palate. And with that knowledge, hopefully empower communities and try to reduce the burden uh, globally of cleft lip and palate throughout the world. <laughs> 